Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Dave Thomas with Cars.com. And by the time you see this video, some bad news may have broken about Chrysler. But if there's such a thing as an automotive swan song, the 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8 is it. This year's Challenger packs the same exact engine it did last year. It's good for 425 horsepower. It's a 6.1 liter Hemi. That's a lot of power. It's really fast. But the best thing about the 09, the big change, one of the enthusiasts everywhere have been really waiting for, is the addition of a six-speed manual. The 2009 comes with a six-speed manual transmission as an option. I'm not really sure it's an option. I think everyone who buys this car is going to want it. And you know what? It's terrific. It adds a lot more fun to the driving experience compared to last year's automatic. It was still fun to drive because you had 425 horsepower, but now you got to control it a little bit more. One thing people might not like about it is this is a very similar transmission to what's in the Corvette, which has a skip shift feature, which means you go from first gear to fourth gear if you don't accelerate really hard out of first. So if you're kind of lazy, it's going to go into fourth. That's to get the mileage bumped up, and it does get bumped up for 2009. It's 14 miles per gallon in the city, 22 on the highway, so that's a lot better than last year. But you know what? You still get the gas guzzler tax. All Challengers have pretty much the same interior. And while Chrysler gets dinged a lot for their interior quality, I kind of find the Challengers pretty good, especially for a muscle car. It's very basic, but you know what? It's not that bad, so don't believe all the negative things you might read. The Challenger SRT8 gets some upgraded seats, which are really comfortable. It's also all black inside with a black headliner, so it's kind of men menacing like a muscle car should be. Also, Challengers pack some kind of practicality that you'd be surprised at. There's a really big trunk in the back for this kind of car, and for dads out there, yeah, you can get a kid seat in the back. One option is Chrysler's Uconnect system. What is Uconnect? Why does Uconnect sound like a funny name? It's because Chrysler used to call this the MyGig system. And what it does is it contains a navigation system and an infotainment system, which has a lot of different options. In fact, it's so robust, I did a whole video on this last year. So if you search YouTube or cars.com for MyGig, you'll find the video I did on it last year. So this year you can still download stuff via USB, you saw the navigation, but an added feature is full iPod integration stored here in the center, center console. So you just plug in your iPod, all the artists, um, playlists you may have, song titles, all of it comes up here on the screen in a very clear way. It's a great addition. In troubled automotive times, when we don't know what car company is going to be around tomorrow, we can understand why car shoppers won't miss a Dodge Caliber or a Dodge Avenger. They're not really great cars. But what I think everyone will miss, and what we hate to see disappear, is a Dodge Challenger. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.